Hi everyone, today we are going to see about the debug logs. We know like whenever we are running any page or anything into the Salesforce that will capture into the debug logs. One way is to see into the debug logs here into the log section into the developer console. And sometimes we are running as another user and we want to capture that debug logs. So that will be not captured over here. So for that we can just need to go on setup, search here debug logs. And here we can just click on new button or either if we are already having that just click on edit here we'll get the few options that uh, what uh, entity type we want to select like user apex class trigger platform integration or integration process here we just need to select that user then start it and then it. okay we can uh, set maximum one day so for now let me set for one hour and here we just need to select the debug level if, if suppose i will open the debug level, uh, level so we can see here we have few options that we want to see the apex class debug log user force info system info and the automation as well. okay after that we just need to click on save now let me try to run this Let me refresh this one. We can see here we got the debug logs. So let me open this one. So we have put a debug log here as test. We can see we got the debug logs.